how to generate scatter plot and then line of the best fit using SPSS. This is our data which we would use to generate a scatter plot and then draw a fitting line or the line of the best fit using SPSS. Uh, I would advise you before you watch this video, consider you watch the video which I have shown you how to enter data in SPSS in order to be able to analyze it. So in order to generate a scatter plot, you need to have first the data in your SPSS or in your PC which you have input in SPSS either imported or raw. Then in order to generate a scatter and uh, to generate a scatter plot, what you need to do is just click the option graphs. After clicking the option graphs, you come to where we have legacy and dialogue. When you come to the legacy and dialogue, scroll up to where we have scatter stroke dot. You click where we have simple scatter then click define you compare two options one which is the y-axis which is the dependent variable and another x-axis which is an independent variable so let us choose age let us choose which is independent and which is dependent so let us compare let us take age as our independent variable and choose income as depending to the age so let income be our y-axis and then we can click okay to generate a scatter point let the thing work for us so this is our scatter plot so scatter plot usually help us to compare two things one dependent and other independent so it is like a y it is it is like y is equals to a b multiplied by x plus b x so these are our scatter points so here this is where we generate our line of the best fit but we can do it also using the this thing what you need to do is just click here inside inside the the graph and click and double click let me show you when you double click this window will appear to you you come to where we have element and then generate the fitting line at the total so this one we generate the fitting line which is the best of which is the line of the best fit from these dots so let me click fitting line so let me use a linear one and then cross so you can see that it seems like our our age as the income 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 decreases as the income decreases as the age increases i don't know where where that method apply but it's a very good method to ensure that the young people are earning more and being able to invest so this one means that this one is the it, it is called the correlation a bit don't think i am remembering well this one is correlation of determination it shows us how income or how the income is being affected by a change in age of the respondent so we have the change as 0.024 so it is like as the as the in as the 
age increase, the income of respondent is decreasing with a percentage of around 2.4 percent and i think that marks the end of our video if you get this video helpful kindly don't forget to consider hitting the subscribe button also to give the video a thumb up so you can also click either the element and generate also a, qua a quadratic a quadratic fitting ring yeah quadratic or even a cubic let's see the regression of a cubic fitting ring let me come back ah, let me close it with my method so the cubic one is around 0 0.93 i don't know where that big difference have occurred in the uh, regression effect uh, or yeah in the um correlation of determination effect or regression effect and that is it